So while most of us wait for the new DLC coming for Cyberpunk 2077, it seems as though they are dropping patch, trying to improve current platforms, preparing certain platforms for the DLC. And today guys, we have a brand new patch, the patch 1.62. They're calling it the Ray Tracing Overdrive Mode Patch, which is coming for high-end PCs. And today we get into it all. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so we are all waiting for that, that DLC news. There's no doubt about it. But when patches like this do get dropped, it is for sure. See the Project Red testing the waters. But I think it's definitely a good thing in regards to new DLC news that should be coming very soon. Okay, so the patch, let's get straight into it. Patch 1.62 for Cyberpunk 2077 is being rolled out on PC. This update brings the technology preview of ray tracing overdrive mode for high end PCs. Together with Nvidia, we're bringing a completely new fully ray traced aka path traced rendering mode to the game with this patch ray tracing overdrive mode we're proud of it it pushes the boundaries of what's possible in technology however because it is so new and fundamentally different from what we've been using so far we know it's not going to be perfect from the start and players might experience some issues that's why we've decided to call it a technology preview this is a vision of the future that we want to share and we're committed to continue working on and improving this feature the technology preview of ray tracing overdrive mode is currently supported on nvidia geforce rtx 40 series the 4070 ti and off graphics cards also on nvidia geforce rtx 390 run that 1080p 30 frames as this is a cutting edge feature it requires the highest performing hardware available to run it properly ray tracing overdrive is very gpu intensive therefore is set to off by default for other ray tracing capable PC graphics cards with at least 8GB of VRAM, we included an option to render path trace screenshots in photo mode. This is possible because it means rendering just one frame as opposed to rendering several frames every second, which would happen when playing the game. You'll find a list of changes for patch 1.62 below. Path tracing technology preview. Added a ray tracing overdrive preset which includes the path tracing technology. You can enable the ray tracing overdrive preset in settings, then graphics, then quick preset, or just path tracing separately in settings, then graphics in the ray tracing section. Additionally, we've included an option to render path trace screenshots in photo mode for other ray tracing capable graphics cards with at least 8GB of VRAM. If your graphics card has more than 8GB of VRAM and this option is still greyed out, it means you need to lower your game resolution. Note that the higher the resolution and the less powerful the GPU is, the longer it will take to take a screenshot, between a few seconds to several minutes. You can enable path tracing for photo mode in settings and go to graphics in the ray tracing section. Okay, so now we're moving on to DLAA. Added NVIDIA DLAA, an AI based anti aliase mode designed to improve image quality. DLAA requires an NVIDIA RTX graphics card. It can be enabled in settings and go to graphics in the NVIDIA DLSS section. Okay, so Intel. XESS added support for Intel XE Super Sampling 1.1, an upscaling technology using machine learning to provide improved performance with high image quality. It can be enabled in settings and go into graphics in the resolution scaling section. Then benchmark improvements. Improve the benchmark to display more information in the results screen, including PC specs, GPU driver version, and selected settings. And there we have it guys for the patch 1.62 now i don't play this game on a high-end pc in fact i play this game on my xbox series x but i would love to see how this works so if you guys do want to hit me up on twitter and show me what you've got or on my discord both link below please do or more information on it can't be far away when that drops i'll have you covered right here on my channel Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.